social media is like primarily, and like Facebook, Twitter, and all that, is uh, primarily a thing for people to stay connected. But I see myself using it more for news purposes. Like I, I stay informed through these type of things, um, through like you know posting articles or whatever, what have you. And um, I think that's I intake it as more as a news source than anything else. Social media was quite important to my daily life right now. Like everyone was using like you know their cell phone, like doing the social media interact with their friend online on the phone stuff. So I think that was like you know take quite important and essential part of it in my life. I think for my life it affects me like a lot. I used to social with people I don't know and argue and talk and talk about like issues important in my country in Twitter for example and Facebook I can gather with people I don't know and make groups and talk also and it helps me to communicate with people like my cousins in far countries and keep in touch with them and friends it helps me because it lets me connect to groups like uh, anything that I'm doing on campus. Um, to me, social media is required because I have to check my phone every day. Like when I wake up, if my phone is not near me, I will freak out. And I feel like social media has changed my life a lot. Um, Cause like I think our generations are really like addicted to it. So it also have like a huge impact on me. Um, social media is very influential in my daily life. Um, as a community director, I have to regularly check um, Facebook. Um, I have to regularly place it on there. I use Twitter um, as well as other avenues of social media to connect to audiences as well as to be on top of the things that I need to do for my job. From social media, we can know some information such as news uh, more efficient and fast. It is very convenient and uh, also we can spend some uh, free time uh, such as watching movie and play games and uh, also we can learn more knowledge from the social media. Social media doesn't directly affect me on a daily basis because I don't necessarily use it as much but um, I would say that it affects people around me especially like I see it in my family my siblings are always checking their Instagram and seeing what's the latest and the greatest and showing me things that they've liked and all these different things going on and I feel like it kind of hinders our conversation and the authenticity of you know just hanging out with your family so on that level when I'm back at home it definitely affects me but up at school it doesn't affect me at all. There is the, the social media aspect of everybody feels the need to be connected all the time. Um, that shows itself in people always being at their phones. Um, it's something that I think is stressful. And I don't um, always feeling obligated or pressed to talk to people when they want to get a hold of you is uh, draining. It's, it, it makes it difficult to communicate with people in actual life because you're always um, at the back and call for the people. I think social media was take a, also a really important step in our human history, um, especially in 21st century. Uh, it's like you know a small step in science invention, but a big step in human history. I think it affects society because it really allows people to connect to each other really easily and without any time delay or anything like that. It's easier to connect and know news about the world and you are sitting in your place, I think this is a good thing. On society, I definitely feel that social media plays a huge part for one, especially on, I mean, it used to be just females, but now it's male and female. Um, as far as image, you definitely, I feel a lot of people hold themselves and compare themselves to what they see on social media. And it's so easy to throw a filter on and throw an alteration on pictures nowadays. People aren't really seeing what is real. So I feel like people are competing with that and then it's simultaneously affecting how people feel about themselves because they can't measure up to it because it's not real. It reduces the distance between each other. For instance, uh, we can know the knowledge between uh, each country and uh, different places.
Social media on society is very raw because it can be very negative at times in which people sometimes attack people blindly because um, they can be anonymous to things or very pointedly just decide to want to um, act out their aggressions through social media. It also can be used as a way to get out information and be helpful. So it's according to which avenues you're seeking and which avenues in which you want to support um, through social media. So it can be a good and bad situation. Right now, I think it's a lot of it is it's bad, and it needs to be corrected in a way that allows people to utilize it for the good.